Hello, good evening, everyone. Welcome to our English class. It's a pleasure bringing you this beautiful night. So, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening, Good evening teacher. teacher. Hi. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Thank you so much for this warming greeting. So it's a special time. For all of us, this our English class after a weekend that we had a good time to enjoy and rest and staying with our families. That's something very valuable, you know, having a good time with the family. And this is what we love. So we'll start with this week with motivation, encouragement, because of different things. And especially overall, that we had to be very positive about what we do. So with this, um, with this motivation, we start today with our classes. And I hope that you have completed all the exercises that we are developing every class, in every class through the English platforms, and that's stuff we have to do, and um, and keep on practicing. That's one of the ways. The, as you know, all of us we have studied English from time ago. We understand that that if we study hard, if we practice, if we sacrifice, dedicating time for studying the language is going to be a good of the best ways to improve and maximize the English skills. We, we know that learning a language like English is like is like a process. We, we understand that it's not around from night to day that you will be learning English. So it's a process that you go step by step, studying, practicing, working hard. So this is what we had to do. Well, uh, before that we start the class, I just want to ask you guys, um, what do you remember we started in the last class? What do you remember? Give me some ideas about the last last class we had. Yes. What well, we started? The infinitive complements, teacher. I don't know. Okay. 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 Um. So it's important to to check always um, the pre previous classes and also the exercises that we have been studying. So we have a clear details about the structures. And also during the week, we can take a time to practice. So it's always recommendable. And we will continue working uh, with different contents. Uh, this time it's going to be something different. Look at this. Oh, can you see the presentation? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Thank you so much. So we will continue with the section number three about a video conference number five, and we talk about relatively close of time. So when we're talking about relative closes, we have connections and the, the goal about relative closes of time is like to say that in that period of time, in that specific date, or that specific time, there is there is something, something is happening. So that's one of the main goals related to relative closes of time, but we'll like study the, the, the structures step by step. So let's see here, the um, one of the goals that are very valuable for all of us right here in the class today. And um, Anna Filomena, can you help me to read the general objective, please? Yes, teacher. Uh, general objective. In this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing celebration. That's right. So we're talking about celebrations. Most of us, we like celebrations. So this is um, something very important, you know, talking about our cultures. There are a lot of Salvadorian celebrations that most of the time we enjoy. And we live and we remember, commemorate always. So we will take a short time to do that. So I'm just going to share that first, the first example we have related to some celebrations that come in our mind here in the Salvador. There are some other celebrations that are, are from abroad, but we take them like personals. We say that this celebration is very common in that country, but 
in El Salvador is very familiar. So we are aware of the celebration. And some people here take that time to celebrate that too in El Salvador. So look at this one. Okay, look at this. And we have holidays and festi festivals. That's the topic. And we have some information about this. We have the Chinese New Year, January or February. Look at the first one. Uh, January or February, Chinese people celebrate with firecrackers and lion dances. So this is very common. For example, the Chinese New Year, they have a different way how they celebrate it. And the, the dragons they are very common. The lion dances, dances and also the firecrackers are very common for this kind of celebration. And some people dress like um, dragons and they dance. So this is amazing. And then also we have the Valentine's Day. So a very common celebration, the Valentine's Day. It's uh, fe February 14th. And people in many countries give chocolates, flowers, and jewelry to person, to the person they love. So this is very fantastic. Uh, Children's Day, formerly Boys Day, May 5th, Japanese families put up color streamers shaped like fish in honor of their children. Look at that. So that's why it's called the Children's Day. That is a formerly Boys Day, May 5th. It's very common in that, in that country, this kind of celebrations. Another one that is very common, but perhaps not, uh, it's right here in El Salvador, but the previous one is like also common. Day of the Dead. This is um, on November 2nd. So Mexican families offer food to dead and then have a meal in a cemetery. And that is one of them. The other one is the Thanksgiving fall in October in Canada and in the United States in November. In the US, uh, people celebrate the harvest by preparing a large meal and they usually serve roast turkey and most of the time with rice with salads so they complement so the thanksgiving day in canada and the united states is very common canadian and also american people they have some specific time to celebrate that so they thanks um the deity in this case is god they thanks him because everything that they have received in this year because they have a job because they have food on their tables because they feel very comfortable so they, they have a huge party, a huge celebration with a special dinner. And most of the time, families are invited to join this special month. So what I want you to do, guys, is to do this one. And you will socialize the following question. Uh, do you have holidays similar to these in your country? So you will take a short time to work in a small groups. And you will discuss this question. What other special days do you have? What's your favorite holiday or festival? So I want you to think about some uh, special uh, celebrations that we have in El Salvador that are not mentioned in this slide. So you could say, wow, teacher, I think this celebration is not mentioned and this celebration is about that. So think about it. We will work in the breakup rooms and we will take a short time to socialize the two pages. Okay. And think about it. Meanwhile, I prepare the breakout rooms to join and you socialize the questions we have right here. Okay, so I have created the breakup rooms and I remember that the goals for this is to socialize the two questions we have here about the, the special holidays. Do you have holidays similar to this in your country? So you will discuss, yeah, for example, this is very similar in El Salvador. So we don't have this celebration. We don't have this celebration. We have this celebration and it's very similar. Only there are some details that change. So perhaps you could say that. And the second one is what other special days do you have? What's your favorite holiday or festival? So you had to socialize the best answer for this one. Is that clear what we had to do? Chuleta. Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. 
let's go. And don't forget to speak English. Okay, well, I would like to base rooms, so get ready to accept the breakup rooms. But, okay. Satya, do you have holidays similar to this in your country? Yes, the Valentine's Day, but for me, Valentine's Day, it's, it's very commercial. I don't know. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> bye. Yes. For bye. For bye. And the two day of the dead too. But uh huh. And children day, but the in this country is the October October one. Yes. Uh huh. Yes. 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 Cover, please. Yes. Uh -huh. But in ten days for me, <laughs> but I, I go to my friends to okay. drink some <laughs> coffee or or I I give. I give a present to my friend. <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. but in my case, my my sons, they they uh, <laughs> uh, they give present to my partners in the school. Uh, they because they they play secret. Yeah. I don't know, amigo secreto. Um, what kind of dream? Yeah. Um. What about you? What about you? Um. Let me see the name. Best the name. The name. The name. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> Thanks, teacher. <laughs> what about you, Marixa Isabel? Uh, the question uh, is, do you have holidays similar to this in your country? I think about um, the, the children's day uh, on October 3rd. Um, um, 25 de diciembre, Navidad, recu no recuerdo. Christmas. Oh, Christmas. Christmas. Merry, Merry oh, Christmas. Sorry, sorry. Uh, Christmas Day. Christmas Day. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. um, 
What do you do, Marixa, in Christmas? I visit my family. Um, mm. We prepare the dinner. And I... And drink alcohol. <laughs> and dancing. <laughs> dancing all the night. <laughs> dancing. All the night. <laughs> uh, no, I play with my with my niece uh, and, <laughs> um, that's a dream in the salvador um que quemar pólvora what do you say i also like christmas uh, even how it's not it's not like before it's very fast yes and in the other case do you have a other holiday no. favorite holiday in in el salvador and um, mm, how is it we don't celebrate Thanksgiving. No. Uh, in my case, the the re, re, religious religious festival. The uh, now is a. Uh, Uh, the the reina de la paz out today hoy. today uh -huh. uh, the festival mariano uh, yesterday uh, is también is the my favorite okay okay um uh, we we finish the exercise. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. How are you? How are you? <laughs> Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hi, guys. We go back. Um... Well, so most of you have um, socialized on valuable creatures related to the holiday and festivities. Teacher, and, uh, I am teacher. sorry. Uh, hi. Sorry, I have a question, teacher. What is the correct uh, pronunciation the tumba, grove, grover, or town? Um, actually, are synonyms. So you can you can also you can use all some of them. Or uh, remember that synonyms like words that are written in a different way but similar uh, meaning or context. So also you can say in English and the, the most common, like we can say, as you said, grave, that is the, the most common. Ah, also okay, some people say like tomb, or mm -hmm. tomb is like a little bit more like sepulcro, you know, but in grave too, it's a grave and our Ah, okay, okay. Thanks teacher for uh, this question in my partner. It's the day of the deed, uh, clear and tomb or graver, <laughs> no sabíamos muy bien cómo... Grave, bueno, uh -huh, great. Teacher. that would be great. Yes, grave or tomb. Yes, that's that's okay. That's our synonyms. All right, don't worry about it, uh, Francisco. Well, let's see, continue. Okay, all of us are right here. So that's really great. So after talking about some holidays and festivities, we compare about the ones that are very close to El Salvador and some others that we don't celebrate them, but we just are aware of these kind of celebrations. And sometimes we agree about how culture celebrate it. We have some celebrations, look at the next activity. So we have uh, some charts with the special occasions, activities, special food and drink and things we give and receive. When I'm talking about giving and receiving, I'm thinking about some present gifts 
and some things that perhaps you can know a little bit more than me in that case. But you will help me with that part. Look at this. It says uh, celebrations. Uh, Boris Martin, can you help me to read the instruction about this activity, please? Sure, teacher. Uh, work forward celebration. Pay work, complete the work map, and two more words to each category. category. Uh, anniversary. Oh, okay. I think that is maybe a special a special occasion. Uh, read read the vocabulary, please. Okay, okay. Anniversary, cake, cards, champagne, dancing, fireworks, flowers, parade, party, presents, road turkey, and wedding. That's correct. So what I want you to do, guys, is try to rank and separate them according to the levels, according to the categories, so special locations, activities, special food and drinks, and things we give or receive. Also, you are encouraged to write, add more words to each category. Perhaps you say, you know what? This word, I think, is not in the list, but I would like to include it in the list. So you can do that. So I will give you some minutes to think about that and separate the words by the categories that we have then right away. So let's work with this. And if you have questions or doubts related to vocabulary. Sure. Excuse me, I have a question. Yeah, tell me. What does uh, parade, I think, means? Um, I don't know if you have seen the, the Independence Day in El Salvador, that people, they go and march and they have some parades with the, a parade is like a march. With, uh, with a lot of bands, with uh, people, with sometimes with some decorations, with some cards, with different things. That's what we call parade. It's like kind of march with a lot of people walking on the streets with different decorations and things for this one. We could say in Spanish, like, como un desfile. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So let's work with that. And then we will socialize the special locations, activities, food and drink. Let's go.
Okay, let's socialize the vocabulary. So I know that some of you have different, you know, ideas about each one. So for the rest, we can compare each other about spatial occasions. So what do you have for spatial occasions right now with the first one? What vocabulary we can share related to spatial occasions? Excellent. Party. That's right. So mo most of you have agreed with the same uh, vocabulary. So we understood that a special occasion is related to parties or celebrations. Okay. Great job. Okay. What about a special food and drink? What do you think? Champagne. Okay. Cake. 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 That's correct. Great job. So, you know, if you haven't had your dinner, it's going to be complicated. All right. That's okay because we're talking about food. Food we consume. That's great. If we're talking about activities, what do you think? Fireworks, parade, fireworks, That's right. That's right. And the last but not the least, and I think it's is like not too many, not too many words. What about things we give and receive? Yes, so most of us, we agree with the same vocabulary and also respected the categories. That is fantastic. Definitely that we could, um, we could say that this is like the most common for all of us. That's right. Let's continue with the next part. We have a conversation. This conversation is between Leo and Natasha. So let's listen what it says. Did you know the next week is Halloween? It's on October 31st. So what do you do on Halloween? We didn't we don't we don't have that holiday in Rosia. Well, it's a day when kids dress dress up in masks and costumes. They knock on people's doors and ask for a candy vice saying the words trick or treat. Mm, sounds interesting, but it's not just for kids. Lots of people have customs parties. Hey, my friend Pete is having a party. Would you like to go? Sure, I love to. So look at this conversation. It's very interesting. So you can see the the picture here, and you can see the kids like trying to get some candies, knocking the door, and saying the words <laughs> trick or treat. It's a very common celebration in the United States. Do you see people celebrating this one in El Salvador the last month? Mm. Uh, in my case, I went to a uh, Halloween party. And how was it? Was good? Uh, really good. Did you enjoy it? So much. That's nice. That's nice. So it's it's you you were familiar with the celebration. But what about you guys? So give me your, you know, your perspective. I mean, do you celebrate it or in your jobs, do, do people celebrate it? In my case, I am sleeping. Oh, you sleep? So you, you don't, <laughs> I mean, you're sleeping, you don't celebrate it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, give me another opinion about this, guys. If you're celebrating or not, there is not coming here. In Mika. my case, not celebrating that. That date. That that's festividad. How do you say festivity? Uh, festivity. Festivity. Uh -huh. In my case, no celebrate. Okay, thank you. In my case, play to, uh, every every night. Uh, play video game, horror, uh, horror video game. <laughs> uh, every every night. <laughs> No se lo dije bien que juego todas las noches, eh, perdón, juego toda la noche en la celebridad, <laughs> juego de horror. Ah, ok, ah, all right, we understand, we understand, all right. 
in my case, I don't like this celebration that I respect to who who says yes. Who celebrate? Who celebrated? Who celebrate? Yes. Thank you. That's great. Oh, okay, of course. So uh, we understand that perhaps we we don't some of some of you don't agree about the celebration, but it doesn't mean that we respect what other people do. Right? In that case, it's like not so common here in El Salvador. By culture, it's not common. It's a celebration who, uh, that comes from uh, United States and from Europe too, and taken to Americans and they celebrate it as proper celebration. Of course, they have an special meaning for this celebration, but here it's like a little bit more, you know more political, more for entertainment, more cultural. So it's we don't take that into account, of course. And the way we hope Salvadorians celebrate it is totally different the way the Americans celebrate it because they give it a special meaning. But in El Salvador it's different because we don't celebrate it. But just, we just try to follow the celebration, but it doesn't have the same meaning or the same way of celebrating. Okay, we'll take a short time right now, guys, to discuss the following equations. Uh, think about celebration and respond, and then share it with your group. The first question that you will discuss is when is the holiday celebrated? You will think about a holiday or a celebration. Think about that. Could be Christmas, could be some Valentine's Day, could be the Mother's Day, the Father's Day. Think about a celebration, and you will investigate the following details. When is the holiday celebrated? Oh, teacher, it's celebrated in, on July 25th. Oh, it's celebrated in May 10th. Oh, it's celebrated on March 6th. Um, the Holy Week. Oh, okay, when is celebrated the Holy Week? So you can think about one celebration. After you have the celebrations, you will provide some special details. When is the holiday celebrated? Is it celebrated as a family or a group? In this case, it's celebrated as a family because we always celebrate it. Or no, this is celebrated as a group because in the country, it's celebrated. When does the celebration for this holiday generally start? And this start in March, at the beginning of March. So you can like discuss about that. Is it a religious holiday? Yes, it is or not, it isn't. Are there special foods connected with the holiday? Uh, yes, there is a special celebration and there's some special food like fast food or perhaps typical food. So you will uh, answer according to the holiday that you have selected. Is gift given a part of this holiday? Yes, in Christmas, most of the time people give some gift or presents to other people, especially the night of 24th, 25th. So think about one celebration in this moment. And then we will go back to the breakup rooms and you will share your celebration with your partners and you will talk about the celebration and you will respond to these questions about the celebration that you have selected. Um, it's, it's that okay? Yes. Excellent. Yes, I, will, I will give you um, two minutes to think about this celebration and then try to answer these questions and then we will go back to the break and rounds. Let's go.
Okay, let's create the breakout rooms and we'll have some minutes to share our celebration. Meanwhile, we will pass the attendant list. So listen to your name and you say present. Okay, let's see. Um, Alejandro Jose Quintanilla. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Ana Filomena Mendoza. Present teacher. Uh, Andrea Geraldina Sanchez. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Andrea Michelle Garcia. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Blanca Marisol Vargas. Blanca. Present teacher. Thanks. Present okay, Boris Mar Martin Salinas. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Brian Isaac Escamilla. Present. Uh, Carlos Jose Asensio. Present. Uh, Denise Isaias Gomez. Present. Uh, Daisy Carolina Rodriguez. Present. Dina Elizabeth Flores. Dina Elizabeth Flores. Eh, Elba Carolina Vázquez. Presente. Erika Maidel Antonio Flores. Presente, presente. Ok, Francisco Alberto Lemos. Presente, teacher. Eh, Iris Regina Hernández. Is here, teacher. Thanks. Jaime Rolando Escalante. Jaime Rolando Escalante. Jenny Elizabeth Santillana. Present teacher. Okay, Jessica Janet Sanchez. Present teacher. Thanks. Juan Eduardo Morán. Present. Eh, Katia Graciela Juan. Present teacher. Thanks. Eh, María Lucila Soto. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Maritza Isabel Méndez Aguirre. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Nadia Isolina Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Noemi Alicia Estrada. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Oscar Armando Cruz. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Ricardo de Jesús Ramírez. Present teacher. Uh, Sara Naida Guzmán. Present teacher. Thank you. Vidal Evelio Mejía García. Vidal, eh, Wendy Abigail Rivera de Escamilla. Presente, teacher. Wilfredo Mendoza Ramos. Wilfredo Mendoza Ramos. ¿Se encuentra Wilfredo? No está por acá. Ok, no está. Ok, thank you. Thank you, guys. Okay, let's break, let's open the breakup rooms. We have five minutes to socialize your information. Let's go.
Early. Hello, teacher. Early tonight. Um, um, in the food, um, really is, um, eh, uh, ¿cómo se diría? Frijoles? Uh, rice, um, beans. 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 It's normal day, really. <laughs> and you, Sarah, you don't celebrate Christmas. Um, yes. Um, mm. No, no, it's important for me. I am green. <laughs> only in drink the, only in this day in, in this day only drink and dance no no uh, no no it's important mm. in my case mm -hmm. it's, it's important it's normal die <laughs> yeah. Yes, I am Monday. sorry. <laughs> In my family, no celebrates uh, really. The answer is: Are the special foods connect with the holiday? No, you we are are eat a special food. No, no. Uh, repeat: a uh, rice and uh, sheep. <laughs> a rice. <laughs> Rice uh, and beans. Ah, yes, mm. rice and beans. Sorry, sorry. Uh, <laughs> um, I, and you, Sarah? You eat uh, special food in... I, I, whatever, I, whatever day, in whatever holiday. I don't know. Special food for, for me? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, um, it's a cheese. And food in China. Chinese Chinese food. Chinese food. Uh, Chinese food. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, in December, the yeah, food is food. Um, my normal uh, uh, chicken, chicken and beans. Creo que sí se paga con pollo. Chicken and beans. No? No. Chicken and yeah, pollo. Bread. With cheese. <laughs> oh, okay, with, I'm sorry. With chicken. Oh, the chicken. Bread with chicken. Oh, okay, okay. Bread chicken. with chicken. You, Andrea? <laughs> Me, the celebrate the cele the holiday I celebrate with my family. Uh, when the celebration start in the evening because the get together in the for the dinner and it's a religious the question is it's a religious religious holiday or your food favorite in a holiday ah my favorite foods in, yes yes in this holiday is a uh turkey 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 and um, what is Turkey? Us give oh, so yeah, we we give the children uh, a gift and my group of shirts um with give us um, entre nosotros between us between us okay between us let me say and the other they are my five words okay 
and the origin by Bruce Firewood. Firewood. Yes, otra pregunta. Es como se llama fuegos artificiales. Ah. Firewood. Okay. In your in, in your house. No, in the. And the celebrate. The, the celebration. The celebration. Ah. The holiday days. Mm. Okay. Okay. In my case, in Christmas, um, um, uh, it's celebrate with my family, my mother, my father, and my sister, and my what is this, sobrino? So, nephew. Come on. Nephew. 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 Only, only. And if I, we, we eat mm, meat. Usually eat meat. Okay. And oh, wow. teacher, how this? I said the fue. Hi. No, la otra compañera le va a preguntar algo, pero creo que se fue. Ah, ok. Okay, well, we will conclude in a couple of minutes and congratulations for the practice. I could listen great conversations, socializing about some celebrations uh, done here in the country in comparison to some others and some others that are from abroad. So that is right because we can practice new vocabulary and we, we can also combine expressions, vocabulary to talk about celebration. That's great. Well, the focus about this class is related to relative closest of time. When we talk about relative closest of time, we're talking about some statements that provide us any specific information. In that case, we have the next one, Halloween. We have an example about Halloween. Halloween is, so we have an idea about what celebration is because it goes at the beginning. Halloween is a day when kids in the United States dress up in masks and costumes. So in the relative close of time, we can combine the celebration and also the context of the celebration. What happened in, what happened in Halloween? is a day when, so we use the relative close, when, it's about time, when kids in the United States dress up in masks and costumes, period. We conclude the idea. And then we have November 2nd. If I ask about November 2nd, you will say, ah, is that is, I will say in Spanish, like el día de los muertos. Okay. So November 2nd is the day when Mexicans observe the day of the dead. So you can see the context. November 2nd is, is what? We need to contextualize the sentence. We need to explain what happened in that celebration. Is when people go and go to the to the graves to remember the relatives who pass away. So we give an explanation about the celebration. We have the next one. And fall is what? What is fall? Fall is the season when people in the United States and Canada uh, celebrate Thanksgiving. So we can check that we have uh, this example. 
Look at this one. For example, New Year's Eve is a night when, what do you think would be the, the best? New Year's Eve. If we have the first one. Oh, My teacher, could you repeat? Present to the ones they no. Is that one? Eight. Eight. People play tricks on friends. For me, it's teacher. Later, people in many countries honor workers in the New no, Year Eve. No, they give presents. Oh, no. But letter B. Letter B. Letter B. Yes, letter B. People like to parties. I don't know. <laughs> <Like tricks. laughs> okay, April's Fool is a day. Is a day April. when April. April Fool day. Oh wow wow wow! No? Think about it. So there are number three teachers. <laughs> May Day is a day when people. Uh -huh. uh, when oh. people uh, the two letter A in many countries on our workers may they yeah so in that letter, case letter, in, letter in, that, a. in that case um as we understand we understand that the, every celebration has a specific detail mm -hmm. so as a, as part of the homework we will conclude this activity so i want you to think about it and the, the next class we will check the possible answers for each one so investigate a little bit because of the time about this exercise. And tomorrow, we will check the possible oh, cool. answers for each one, all right? So I, I know that the time is actually about to finish and we will be ready for the next class. So thank you so much for the time. And I don't know if you have any questions before we finish. Thanks to you. Thank you too, teacher, for thank the you. class. Thanks, it's a pleasure. Teacher. Have a beautiful thank night you. to thank all of you. Good night. And good night. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. You too. Thank you. Bye bye. bye, -bye.